hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel today i wanted to make a video talking about and showing how i make my game look very beautiful and aesthetic which is a very popular term in the sims community i actually have not seen any videos on this specific topic so i thought i would just make a video on it this video also mentions a few mods but I will also be talking about a few different gameplay ideas and a few other tips that I would like to give you. So we are in Windenburg today because my Sam just moved into her first house. And the reason why I'm saying this is because the house is empty. I only decorated the backyard, so inside it is still empty because she literally just moved. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually the map replacements that I have. So I will quickly show you guys the map replacements that I like to use. So I like to use the map replacements by Dashayan. I've been using these for a long time now and they they are by far my absolute favorite one. I know that they are also different ones, but I just love how beautiful these are. They just look so hand-drawn and in my opinion matched art style of The Sims 4 very well. Here we have my Oasis Springs map and also in case you're interested in which save file I use, I actually use my own. I've kind of set up my own save file. I've put in a lot of builds from people on the gallery and also a lot of sims from a little simsy save file, which is the one that I used to use before I started my own save file about a year ago. But yes, yeah, so about the maps, you will have to download them all individually. So obviously just download the ones where you own the packs. And the newest one is still the one from Snowy Escape. So if you have any expansion packs that came out after Snowy Escape, there has not been a map released yet, which is fine. I'm willing to wait because look how beautiful it looks. It's just so stunning. These are my absolute favorite map replacements. So next I wanted to show you my cast backgrounds. I do use G-Shade which I will also be talking about in this video but this is what it looks like with my presets and this is what it looks like without. I just really love very minimal backgrounds and to have my game look very clean and simple. And then this is my loading screen which is just so perfect for summer. I love it so much. Obviously, depending on your style and taste, there are lots of more loading screens. So I highly recommend you to just look up The Sims for loading screen and I'm sure that you will find one that you love. So next is G-Shade or Reshade. I often also get questions on how I edit my pictures and the truth is that most of the time I don't edit them at all because my preset does all of the work for me. I use my own G-Shade preset called Pearl. It is on my Patreon and I will also have all of the links to all of the mods that I'm talking about in this video in the description and my preset will also be linked there. This is what it looks like without G-Shade and then this is with so as you can see it is quite a big difference and i love it so much i did mention that i use g shade instead of free shades which sometimes confuses people since a few months ago there was like a huge issue with g shade i did not update it for a few months before that drama happened so i still have an old and safe version of g shade which allows me to use it safely obviously you can also use free shade if you want to there are lots of videos on how to install and use reshade and also on how to convert g-shade presets to reshade so what i would like to talk about next is my lighting mod i use the sun blind lighting mod by softer haze which is just so beautiful and it makes the scenery and the game just look so stunning so i will show you what it looks like in different times of the day so this is what it looks like in the afternoon And then this is what it looks like in the evening. The lighting just looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. And then this is what it looks like at night. And here you can see all of the stars. This does not look like this without the Sunblind lighting mod. It has to be one of my favorite mods, especially aesthetic mods. I would honestly highly recommend it. This is what it looks like in the morning. And this is probably my favorite time of the day. 
it's just so beautiful i just love this mod so much and also if you really dislike the bright blue skies like me this lighting mod actually makes them a bit more lighter so this is what it looks like now the next mod i want to talk about is the better in-game lighting mod by obscurus this one has different settings i use the average base and this one basically makes it so that your sim looks a bit more like to do and create a sim in game and i just think it makes a big difference and it looks so much better i highly recommend that it is so useful especially for screenshots i do also want to mention that i think kind of experimenting and figuring out what your sim style is will make your game much more cohesive so what helped me figure out my sim style is honestly just making a bunch of sims like not all in one day but just over the last few months I've really kind of found my sim style and which creators I like to use and what skin blends and skin overlays. Obviously like having a sim style doesn't mean that all your sims look the exact same. You can still have a sim style and have sims that have variety and also experiment with different skin details. So I would highly encourage you to just try out different CC if you like to use CC and also give makeovers to townies if you like to. It just made my game look so much better and so much more put together. I also have a resource page on my Tumblr that has more than 150 links featuring my creator sim custom concept, my skin details, my defaults, all of that. And while we're on the topic of sims, I also love the no random town mod which basically prevents the game from creating more npcs that have like crazy outfits we all know those so i really love that mods and it helps me kind of keep track of the sims that i have in my game and doesn't just keep generating new sims that i have to give makeovers to i also have all of my favorite gallery creators this is just my library right now where i have some lots that i am planning to place and use but i highly recommend you to check out the little master list that i put together in the description that will also feature all of my favorite gallery creators i highly encourage you to just go into the gallery and look for lots that you know are your taste and that you want to place in your game i also have a few sims mutuals on tumblr that do like gallery recommendations if you haven't heard of that you might already kind of guess that it basically is like a post with different, um, for example, like spas, and then they put their favorite spa recommendations. So I will also have those favorite creators listed so you can check out their recommendations. I absolutely love those and I'm also planning to do a few more of those on my Tumblr. So next I will be talking about a few of my favorite gameplay ideas that you can incorporate into your sims game and you may be wondering how my sims are playing tennis right now. I mean it doesn't entirely look like tennis but it is an override from the ping pong table that came with Discover University so I will also have that one linked in the description if you're interested i absolutely love tennis so i wish we had it in the sims but since we don't this is what i like to use a few more gameplay ideas could be hosting tea parties having a galentine's dinner for a love day or even going on a nice romantic date um like i said there's lots for that on the gallery as well that will definitely help you to get some ideas and will make you want to actually leave the house or you can also go to the quest with your sims or the family or you can even have a weekly spa day and send your sim to the spa also of course movie nights or go clubbing at like a rooftop bar like that would be so fun and also another thing that i like to do is make the events in my sims life special so for example if a sim is getting married i like to really plan out the wedding and you know also think realistically what kind of wedding that sim would want of course this video is not focused around gameplay ideas so i won't mention like many so the last thing that i do want to talk about in this video is how to actually make your sims aesthetic like your own sims game aesthetic like personal to you and how to just make it feel like it's your game you know not someone else's game if that makes sense so for example this house is honestly like 
pretty much my dream home i would say not exactly but it's very close to that i also get a lot of inspiration to build and decorate on pinterest and i have a very um specific aesthetic i would say so i always tend to kind of show that and reflect that in my sims game which is how my game feels very personal to me and also how it just feels like my game if that makes sense like for example the tennis courts i enjoy playing tennis so i also wanted to find a mod or like even just if it was just for decor to incorporate that into my sims game so my sim can play tennis and even if it's just like an activity or like the whole aesthetic so that is usually what i like to do and that is also why i love to see other people's sims games so even if someone has like a complete different aesthetic than me i still love their game like i still follow simmers whose game looks very different from mine or just have a completely different aesthetic and style so with this video i obviously don't want to say that you need to use exactly what i use to make your sims game look aesthetic i always like encourage to you know just experiments with different custom content or mods or g-shade presets whatever figure out what you like and how you can make your game look beautiful in your eyes so that is really all that i wanted to say in this video i hope that it was helpful to you um i've never done like a video like this where i talk about how i make my game look the way it does so i hope that you enjoyed it i will have a link in the description that will take you to a list of everything that i'm talking talking about in this video so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i wish you a wonderful day or night and i will see you in my next video bye